I want to thank you for joining us today. Over the past three to four months, we all have been experiencing new challenges that we have never had to experience before. During this time, we at Lightspeed have been having conversations with educators across the country, listening to their challenges of having to continue to educate their students while both teachers and students are at home. In the past few weeks, we have started to hear about the challenges in planning for the reopening of school and what that might look like. Over the next 10 minutes, I'll provide a little bit of background on the importance of instructional and audio technology and sharing some audio solutions to overcome the listening challenges for some of the models being discussed for the reopening of school. Over 45 years of research has shown us that children spend 70 to 80% of their day in listening activities. We also know that there's a difference between audibility, which is just being able to hear what is being said, versus intelligibility or word recognition. The research continues to validate the need for all students to be able to clearly hear every word, allowing every child the opportunity to learn. Instructional audio systems have been implemented in thousands of classrooms across the country to overcome the background noise and other distractions in the classroom. With the utilization of a properly designed system, students stay engaged and focus on the teacher or even fellow students when they're doing peer-to-peer -peer learning. By providing the teacher with specially designed wireless microphone, his or her voice is evenly distributed throughout the classroom so every child is able to clearly hear every word from anywhere in the classroom or learning space. This picture demonstrates the teacher's voice in the classroom. A child seated just three feet directly in front of the teacher will clearly hear the, what is being said. As the distance increases, the clarity of the teacher's voice is reduced. As we introduce social distancing, this will be a major challenge in the classroom. Raising or projecting your voice will not maintain the clarity that will be needed for all students to clearly understand what is being said. Here are just two examples of classroom audio systems that have been specially designed to provide clear instructional speech to every student. The picture on the left is the RCA non-installed system that is simply placed on a shelf, typically on the side wall or in the back of the room. The system may also be battery powered for portability and can even be used for outdoor classes. The picture on the right is the TCA, a wireless system that is installed in the ceiling. All instruction audio is wirelessly st streamed to the system in the ceiling. No speaker wire is needed, everything is in the ceiling. Using the flex mic microphone with either of these systems will provide a clear, even distribution of instructional audio to every student. Over the past few months, we have been having discussions with many educators and they have been sharing the challenges of meeting the recommendations for the reopening of school. These include, but are certainly not limited to, modified classrooms, social distancing, remote learning, hybrid classrooms, staggered schedules, block schedules, or static groups, recommended or mandatory facial coverings for teachers, and even in some case, students. The next four slides, we are going to share some of the models for returning to school may look like, noting the challenges with each of these models. We'll also provide solutions for these models as well. When wearing a mask, while teaching, there will be a loss of visual cues. Students will need to rely completely on the teacher's voice for comprehension. They will experience reduced audibility or loudness of the teacher's voice. Masks will dampen the teacher's voice and increased social distancing will make it even more difficult for everyone to hear. There'll also be a decrease in intelligibility or clarity. Recent studies show that facial coverings reduce the high frequencies by as much as 12 decibels, making it extremely difficult for students to clearly understand their teachers. Teachers will experience an increase in vocal strain. Even more stress will be placed on the teacher's voice as, the, as they attempt to overcome these barriers. An easiest solution would be to add the classroom audio system. When teachers use a microphone, the audio level and quality of their voice is dramatically improved, ensuring all students can clearly and effectively hear every word. 
In the next model, we have the hybrid or split classroom. For example, 24 students split into two groups. Only 12 students in the room spread out to adhere to social distancing, the other 12 in an online learning setup at home. Here are some of the challenges they will experience. First, remote learners need to clearly hear the teacher and their peers in the classroom. Second, classroom learners need to clearly hear the teacher and their peers in remote locations. And next, teachers need to clearly hear the students in classroom and remote students. By implementing an instructional audio system, teacher microphone, and media connector, both in-room and remote students will hear the teacher clearly. Remote students can be heard in the room through the classroom speaker. However, they will not be able to hear the students in the classroom. Once again, we're looking at that hybrid split classroom model, but now the teacher and students are amplified. By using the classroom speaker, teacher and students in the classroom can clearly hear each other, plus interfacing with a video conferencing system, everyone can clearly hear remote learners. By utilizing the teacher microphone, remote students and in-class students can clearly hear the teacher. Then adding the tap to talk microphone for each student in the class, the teacher and remote learners can clearly hear in-class students. There's no control interface necessary for the teacher providing easy classroom management. This is a simple interface for the students and maintains engagement for both remote and in-class students. We also have been hearing some teachers for various reasons may continue to teach from home. The students in the classroom are able to understand and engage with their teacher with a classroom speaker system, teacher aid microphone, student microphones, and media connector. This solution enables all students in the class, as well as remote, to hear the teacher. The teacher can hear the students in the class, as well as those in remote locations. We will continue to learn about additional models, including regional or seasonal outdoor classrooms. One solution for the outdoor classroom is to utilize the RCA with the battery power and the teacher microphone, all students, can easily hear the teacher and observe social distancing. We will continue to collaborate with educators across the country to learn about the various models being proposed for the reopening of school. We welcome the opportunity to meet with you in person or virtually to discuss your plans to return to school. We look forward to discussing the instructional audio solution that best meets your learning space needs. Thank you for attending our session. Thank you everyone so much for joining us for this webinar brought to you by Lightspeed. Of course, we'll be back soon with more information similar to what we've done here today, but until then, I've been your host today, Tyler Kern. Thanks for watching.